Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jeanette's Beauty World. I'm Jeanette. I'm here to talk about makeup, do makeup try-ons, subscription box unboxings, mostly unboxings of subscription boxes. And today is no exception. I have the BoxyCharm Premium box here that uh, I want to unbox for you all. This is for from my second account. And yeah, if you want to see what's in this box. This is number one of two. If you want to see what's in my premium box, keep on watching. All right. Welcome, everybody. So we're here to do the unboxing for the BoxyCharm premium box. I have that right here. This is for my second account. I know I told you all I opened the second account so I can get the base box on the Lux months. I do have a Lux box to open for you. Uh, probably, I don't know which videos I'll post first. But this is going to be uh, unboxing and try on. I've already tried to have a couple products on already because they were underneath my face foundation. So when you open it up. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for that interruption. That was a couple hours ago that I started, oh, but I'm on call this weekend, so I got a call. I had to run to the hospital, fix something, and now I'm back home again. It's 2.18 in the afternoon, and we are going to unbox this BoxyCharm Premium box. So I'm going to show you. Here's a sneak peek of what it looks like. Here's our... Um, Little card, BoxyCharm BTS stands for, from what I understand, behind the scenes. Some people say it's back to school, but most people are saying it's behind the scenes. And of course, on the back, we have everything that's in the box and how much it costs. So I told you I was going to do a try on, and then I tried a couple things already. So the first thing I'm going to pull out that I am wearing, because I own it already, is the Tarte Glotion. And where is, where it is, make sure I get that right, I think it's like $32, yes, it retails for $32, the Tarte Sea Glotion Skin Perfector, um, get lit from within, look for, <laughs> with this instant complexion perfector, inspired by the magical glow effect of bioluminance, it goes, a natural, natural luminous glow onto skin, it gives a natural Okay, with micronized pearls that affect light to blur imperfections. The 4-in-1 Complexion Perfector works to prime and extend makeup wear, hide imperfections, glow, and brighten. Now, I use this as a, um, here's, here's mine. I, I just use it usually in the mornings as my lotion for the day, especially when I'm working, when I'm not putting a whole bunch of stuff on my face. Um, it just gives me a nice glow for the day, and I'll just do my uh, neutral eye look for work. Or you can use it as a primer. So you can use it as a lotion or a primer. Now, it does come with a slight tint to it, which I'll show you here. I'm just going to put out a little bit. But it, it rubs right in and just gives you a nice natural glow and blends right into your skin. So I love wearing this every day when I uh, don't, I'm not putting on a lot of makeup for work because I have to wear a mask all day um, or just as a, a lotion in the morning but underneath my makeup. And sometimes I add another primer, sometimes I don't. I did not today. I use this as my lotion and my primer before I put my foundation on. So I am wearing uh, some complexion products. I don't know. You can't see too much of them anymore because I had to go to work and wear a mask. <laughs> but I started to. All right. So then the next thing in the box is by Verb Ghost Oil. All right, I did put this in my hair today. I normally don't put this kind of thing in my hair because I don't know if it makes my hair look oily or shiny. Um, it doesn't really look too oily. So I put it in before, I, and I did do my hair earlier, and then I was wearing a scrub cap for two hours. So I apologize. 
for the hair look. It says, this weightless hair oil revitalizes strands from roots to end, powered by moringa oil. This blend works to hydrate and fight frizz. It's proven to enhance shine by 75% in the third-party lab testing setting after applying to dry human hair fibers. MSRP is $18. So there's the Verb Ghost Oil, and I am wearing it. I put it in before. I don't know. I kind of got a little bit of frizzer. I only use two small pumps. I do have a lot of hair. I have very thick hair, so maybe I just need a little more, but I, I don't want it to look make my hair look oily because I just washed it and masked it last night. So, all right. So the next thing, let's say what we're going to do is by Complex Culture. This is a beauty tool. I've seen other people open this and it needs battery. I don't have one handy, but it's a, like a facial massager. Let me take it on out of here. Maybe I can get it out of here. <laughs> Let me get it out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Got it out. So you put a battery in the bottom. So I'm not going to take it all the way out. But I believe it takes a double A battery. And then it will vibrate. And you rub it on your skin while it's vibrating. And let's see, what does it say it does? Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager. This sonic power tool delivers a modern facial massage to increase blood flow, reduce puffiness, relieve facial tension, and help tone facial contours. Uh, give yourself the daily luxury of an at-home massage and temporarily smooth and sculpt skin. Rejuvenate and sculpt your skin in just a matter of minutes whenever you can squeeze it into your routine. And MSRP on this is $58. All right. So there's that. So then the next thing we've got is by Fenty Beauty. So this is, I'm going to put this on. It's in number seven, Cadet is the name of it. And this is part of her it's an eyeshadow palette. What are they called again? Snap Shadows Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette. Then the MSRP for $25 a piece. All right, that's what it looks like. And then on the back, we see it's got these little perforations so that you can snap another palette on the back. Now, when I get my second premium box from my original, my main account, I got a different shade because you were able to choose. They had four of these to choose from. So I chose this color for this box and then a different color story for the second box. So then when I do that video, I can snap them together for you and show you how it works. So let's put this on. And let's see. Should we? No, I'll finish taking everything out of the box and then I'll put it on. That way, if you don't want to stick around, <laughs> I understand. All right, so the next thing is by Milk and Honey. Uh, it's by Beauty Bakery, actually. It comes in this overwrap, and this is it. I'm sorry, I just took it out too fast. But Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette. And does not have a mirror, but look how pretty they are. And if it looks like they've been swatched already, they have. <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't help myself yesterday when I because I got the boxes. Uh, yesterday. So let's do the bottom two. Look at that. And then the top two, this pinky one. And this one. So look how pretty they are. So yes, that was my swatching. And I'm going to swatch it on my hand there. Look how beautiful they are. Such nice shimmery, glowy. And you know I like to get my glow on. All right, so we're going to be putting that on. And then the last thing in the spray is uh, by, uh, what's the name of this company again? Oh, here, I didn't tell you about the, see what happens when I get on call. Um, the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette retails for $38. 
And then I have the Bloom Effects Tulip Dew Mist. All right, we got some Bloom Effects. We got that moisturizer in one of our boxes a few months ago. Um, I've only used it a few times because it is very, very moisturizing and kind of oily looking. It has a weird texture. So I'll do it at night. And I, the first time I used it, I thought I had an allergic reaction around my eyes. Not sure if it was an eye product or that product, but I've used it again. And I just avoided the eye area and it seemed to do okay. So this is a Tulip Dew Mist, a multitasking face mist that delivers a brightening boost of antioxidants, plant extracts, and vitamins B3, C, D, and E to revitalize, refresh, and energize. It's designed to work as a humectant to prevent moisture loss. Plus it's formulated with environmentally conscious BioV technology, a first of its kind to clean beauty. Perfect on bare skin, over makeup, or throughout the day as an awakening skin pick-me-up. Retails for $34. All right, so that's that. All right, so hang on, and I'll total everything up for you. All right, so the total retail of this box is $205. I don't know if you can see that. But so this is a $35 box, in case I forget to tell you that. Um, and it's a monthly, It's you get the base box and then you can sign up for the premium box. I sign up for both, so uh, 25 for the base, 35 for the premium. And then every three months you get can get a Lux box for $49.99 and you just don't get the base box at, during those months. So this is the premium at $35 a month. So now we're going to put on some eyeshadow. All right. So we got our Fenty Beauty. Let's see. Got my Sigma brushes over here. You know, like me, my Sigma brushes. So let's start with, um, let's do this top center shade here. Let's try this out. Use my little mirror. It does have a little mirror on it. And we'll blend that right into my crease. I do have an eyeshadow base on. I have the Gerard Cosmetics one in Fair. So all of that lasted while I ran out and took care of my emergency patient. <laughs> and uh, my eyelashes, I did put a, a, it's the KVD Beauty Lash Primer. Uh, which I got, I, did, I didn't show you guys, um, it was just what an add-on I got yesterday. Um, and I didn't bring that up to show you, to, because it came in a mystery package, and half of the package I had already. So I just wasn't, I was like, okay. <laughs> it was like the eyeshadow palettes, palettes I all had. So there's at least one eyeshadow palette that will be going into my giveaway for my 100 subscribers. Uh, a very nice little palette and so I said well let me try this primer today and it's black usually uh, the primers I've seen have been white colored like that but this one was actually black and I put that on my top lashes okay so that blended up very nicely uh, let's see we'll go into this kind of a darker greenish I think it's like a greenish shade I'm going to put that on the outer corner. There we go. And then I'll just kind of blend it in a little bit. I use the same brush. I didn't change out brushes. Just so they can all two colors can kind of merge together in my crease. All right, let's do the other one. So this is a, a nice dark to deepen up this outer corner. You don't have to use this if you want to use a more neutral look. You could just kind of combine like these bottom ones in the middle. You know, but you know, you know me when I'm with you guys. I like to Amp it up just a little bit because I don't get to during the work week. 
All right, blending that in. He's blending pretty good. I'm not getting any patchiness, I don't think. Blend, blend, blend. I'm just blend it. Buff it on out here. I think I'm darker on the right eye. I need to blend it in more in the center. This is the spot where I always have a problem. Well, not with all eyeshadows, but with a lot of them. But I think it's it's working itself out. Working itself out. So, yeah. So, what have you been doing this weekend? It's Sunday afternoon. I got a few things done in the yard. I had the landscapers come earlier this week. And um, got that taken care of. So then I just finished up a few things like my lights were half down <laughs> in my backyard. I had lights hanging around my uh, like porch area. So I, I got them all put back up. I really like this color. Got them all put back up. What do you think? And then, like, I threw away the grill cover because I was all half torn. I threw away an umbrella over the table that I don't use anymore just because it, it got ripped down um, in a storm. So it was a half torn. So I got rid of all that stuff. And then I was able to sit outside this morning and have my coffee, which was nice. All right, so let me let me swatch a couple of these. I want to see which one I want to use on my lid. Whether I use that one from here or this. I think I'll use this one on the lid and then this one as an inner corner highlight. I'm going to try using it with my finger. I do have a little brush just in case. Put this over the lid. There we go. I could uh, wet a brush and put some on and make it, um, see if I can make it a little more shimmery. What do you think? Should I try it? Looks okay like that, but we'll try that. We're going to use some of our uh, tulip, tulip spray. Oh, that's a nice mist. All right. And, and we'll just put a little bit of wet on there and just spread that across the lid. I'm just using like a flat little shader brush here. Okay. All right, that looks nice. So now I got this on here. I'm going to put this in the inner corner. I need to blend that out. Ooh, that's really. <laughs> oh, it's hard to do with your finger. I see people do it all the time. Let's put it in the inner corner. And it, oh, I need a little brush. Oh, <laughs> what am I doing? Let's fix this. Let's fix this a little bit. Holy cow. What did I do? It was looking, it was going so good, right? <laughs> kind of wiped that away. That's a little too much there for my finger. So next time I'll make sure I use, just use a little brush with this because, wow, it put a lot of, okay, that's better. Let me blend it. Where's my blending brush? Here we go. My original blending brush. There. That's better. Woo! Scared myself for a minute there. <laughs> a 
but they say trust the process, but sometimes the process can go woo, right? Okay, so now I'm going to use this um, this shader brush I use that I put the eye color on, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use these colors down here for my eyeliner. I'm gonna use the darker one first in the bottom corner. but it still has a little bit left from the lid. So kind of bring it all together here. I have to fix that glittery on my nose. <laughs> oh yeah, this looks good. Yeah, I like this. And I'll do a little bit of this mustard color. Just right in here. And just kind of blend it all together. All right. All right, so if you do the inner corner, use a little brush, get a little pencil brush to put that in there. The finger is just too much, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> the finger was too much, but I fixed it. I think I fixed it. All right, so this isn't a pencil brush, but it's a pretty small brush, and I just, I just wanted to blend it in the corner better and under my eyebrows. I still have to do my eyebrows, but I'll do that off camera. So now, all right, so that's the eye look. All right, now we'll do a little bit. Get these swatches off my fingers. I'm going to do a little bit of highlighter. Let's see. Powder. Got a nice brush here from Sigma. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to mix these bottom two. All right. There's no mirror on here, so I'm going to do it right here on my monitor. Let's get some glowy on, right? All right, a little more over here. There, I see a little glow coming on. All right. I'll do some of this Queen Bee. I'll take a little bit of that and just do up here and down the nose. You know, I like my little bit of glow. Okay, that looks nice. I like that. Do a little more of this one over here. All right. All right, so I'm going to go put some, uh, here, we'll do the spray. We'll do the spray first, and then I'll go finish up with my mascara and brows and put my lips back on. I had lips on earlier, right? <laughs> I'm wearing the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liner and uh, lipstick here. All right. I'm trying to get the scent of it. Then I take my beauty sponge and I just pat it all in. Just get everything to meld together. And this, this might be something that I just keep in here in my office because you can use it under makeup, over makeup as a refreshing spray. So yeah, it has um, that slight tulip smell that the uh, lotion has. I've got an itch. <laughs> I'm pretty glowy, aren't I? Yeah, 
Let's do a little setting powder. I got my Beauty Bakery. Since I'm using the Beauty Bakery highlighter, might as well use my Beauty Bakery setting powder. And I just take a little bit. I guess you could do this first before the spray or after. I just do what I think about it. Because <laughs> I'm not a big setting powder person. I like the sprays more, but I do. I did set under my eyes before I went out, so that was a good thing. All right. So there we go. All right, I'm going to go off camera and finish the eyes with that, some mascara. All right, and browse and put my lips back on. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. This is the final look. What do you think? So I like this. I think I used every color <laughs> in our little eyeshadow palette. But you can get away with, you know, not using all of the colors, you know, if you are on a quick on the go. So these, this is a great little neutral color story. Looks kind of cool tones, but I like it. I like it. So I got the Fenty Beauty Snap eyeshadow, the Verb Oil hair thing, hair, <laughs> hair oil, the Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette, very nice, uh, the Tarte Galotion, and this little guy, the Face Massager, and oh, and our Dew, Tulip Dew Mist. So, sorry about the hair. I tried to fix it a little bit, and I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Does it make my hair look shiny or oily? You have to let me know in the comments. I don't think it did much for the ends. They look a little frizzy still, but I, but I did go light-handed with it. So, yeah. So, did, did you get the premium box? What did you get? Did you get the same one as me? I'll tell you right now, it's version 285. It's a C21 for the year 2021, 09 for the month, and then 285 p.m. premium. All right, so that's the version I got. Did you get the same version? Are we box twins? Uh, what version did you get? Did you get different things? I want to know what you got and what you think. All right, and then when I get my other premium box, I'll come on and show you that. And then we can snap the two eyeshadow palettes together. <laughs> the things we do that are, you know, for fun around here. All right, so sorry if I seemed a little rushed. Let you know, I'm trying to do this and I'm on call. <laughs> and it happened. I got called just as I was starting the video. But I come back when we got it done. All right, so let me know what you think. Uh, if you're new here, please uh, give this video a like. Consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos. I am trying to keep up with three to four times a week with my full-time work schedule. and uh, But I've got lots of videos. I started in April, I think. So yeah, go back and check out some other stuff I've done. And all my current subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you all. Everybody leave me a comment. Let me know that you're here. Um, I, I see like all these viewers, but I don't know who's watching. It doesn't show me, you know, who's watching. So leave me a comment so I know who's watching. All right. Mwah. I love you. I will see you in the next video. Bye.